to welcome you to the celebration of their love and marriage. For me, it is a particular pleasure to perform a ceremony by the ocean, even with a coastal low. It's still a magnificent <laughs> Southern California day. Terms like as deep as the ocean and as wide as the sea give us a sense of the boundless love and deep commitment this couple bring to this special moment. For today, Richard Kent Larrabee Jr and Amy Marie Evil Sizer, in their wisdom, view their love as the ocean, constant yet ever-changing, as the wind rapturous and all-encompassing. Who presents this woman in marriage? I do. <laughs> I'm going to get the I do out of him, don't worry. <laughs> it is said that two people fall in love and then they stay in love because of chemistry. The commitment continues because of mutual respect, heartfelt kindness, compassion, and perhaps a bit of luck. But part of it has to be the gift of forgiveness, the art of gratefulness, and a talent for compromise. Perhaps it is the realization that we're not always a bargain, and that relationships are not always smooth sailing that allows us to flourish in marriage. But beyond all else, I believe it is our ability to love and be loved that can make life a special kind of paradise for two. Like the ocean, marriage has its ebbs and flows, yet its energy and possibilities never cease. As the ocean is revived by the winds and moon from on high, so marriage is eternally revived by the spirit of love and giving, of forgiveness, individual growth, and the sharing of common experience. In the past, Richard and Amy have been lone voyagers riding the waves of their separate lives. But today they are setting sail on a boat made for two. 
they are shedding a solitary journey in favor of bonding with another. Their love extends beyond the earth, sea, wind, and flame. It is greater than who they are individually. It is more powerful than their past because united it is the foundation of their future. Their cargo is a lifetime full of dreams and aspirations. May they dare to dream, dreams not yet dreamt. The poets, Braxton and Reitzman, write beautifully of a loving agreement made between a bride and groom on their wedding day. Let's grow old together, beginning with today. Let's work slowly with each other and build a relationship that both of us can enjoy being part of. Let's share love and understand that neither of us is perfect. We are both subject to human frailties. Let's hold each other close and whisper through the night, pledging our love, honoring our commitment. Let's encourage each other to pursue our dreams, even when we're weary of trying. Let's expect the best that both of us can give and still love even when we fall short of our expectations. Let's be friends and understand each other's individual personality and give one another room to grow. Let's be candid with each other concerning strengths and weaknesses. Let's understand each other's personal philosophy even when we don't agree. Let's fly awake long into the night, sharing our innermost secrets, being friends as well as lovers. Let's laugh at times and plan with each other and wonder how we ever got along without this love we have found. Let's never take for granted these moments that we've shared, but always be reminded of how intensely we have learned to live and how completely we have learned to love. Let's grow old together and look back on life and smile. As we celebrate the intertwining of Richard's and Amy's destinies, all of us gathered here wish them clear skies, safe sailing, and calm harbors where they might find warmth and comfort in each other's arms. To find a kindred spirit and a loving companion to share life's adventures is a rare and beautiful gift. Richard and Amy, May the ways of everyday life wash, cleanse, polish, and refine your love and commitment. And may you always sail a common course upon calm seas. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal a joining that is a promise for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and sometimes critic. There may come times when one partner is brokenhearted or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly, but passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes that life is unable to avoid. It encourages new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing love through the seasons of your soul. When two people love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit that is unique to themselves, that binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Richard, I ask that you cherish and celebrate Amy's inner light, her intuitive insight, her caring, 
her concern for the welfare of others, and her devotion to truth and justice. Trust in her love, her support, and her loyalty. Treasure her beauty of mind, body, and spirit. Encourage her to expand her consciousness and to fulfill her dreams. Help her to find comfort and security <laughs> in the knowledge of your love. Amy, I ask that you cherish <laughs> and celebrate Richard's inner life, his clear logic and understanding, his gentle nature and concern for others. Respect his unique skills, his ability to listen and take action. Treasure the beauty of his mind, the strength of his body, and the depth of his soul. Encourage him to continue to grow and to develop in all areas. Trust in his love, his sincerity, and his loyalty. Help him to reap the benefits of a loving, nurturing relationship. Amy and Richard, if you would now please face each other, joining both hands with your companion, confidant, and friend. Marriage begins in the giving of words. We cannot join ourselves to one another without the giving of our word. And this must be an unconditional giving. For in joining ourselves to one another, we are making a commitment to share all of life's possibilities. Richard, secure in the knowledge that your love is as limitless, powerful, and flowing as the ocean's waves, you promise to share with Amy all of your love and your life in good times and in bad, and to respect and to cherish her from this day forward. Amy, secure in your knowledge that your love is as limitless, powerful, and flowing as the ocean's waves. You promise to share with Richard all of your love and your life in good times and in bad, and to respect and to cherish him from this day forward. If I could have the rings, please. rings are a symbol not only to you, but to the entire world of your enduring love and commitment to each other. May the vows and pledges you have made to each other remain as pure and valuable as the precious metals from which these rings have been made. Richard, as you now place the ring on Amy's finger, please repeat after me. Amy with, this ring, Amy, with this ring, I give you my promise, I give you my promise from, this day forward, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My, arms are your shelter, my arms are your shelter, my heart is your home. My heart is your home. Wear, this ring always, wear this ring always as a reminder of my love, as a reminder of my love and commitment to you. Amy, as you now place the ring on Richard's finger, please repeat after me. Richard, with this ring, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. From this day forward. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My arms are your shelter. My arms are your shelter. My heart is your home. My heart is you will wear this ring always. You will wear this ring always. As a reminder of my love. As a reminder of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. <laughs> On the table, in back of me here, and I hope you can see it. It's in the background. But what we have is an absolutely beautiful Brazilian tiger wood tongue and root box, which has been lovingly made for Amy and Richard by a family friend, an art and wood artisan, Rick Wilson. The box contains 
a 2007 Pinot Noir, certainly one of my favorites, from <laughs> Oregon, <laughs> two wine glasses. And Richard and Amy will now place a letter they have written to each other on this, their wedding day, into the inside of that box. This will then be opened and shared by Amy and Richard during their fifth wedding anniversary. Often a wedding ceremony is thought of as the uniting of two individuals in marriage. In fact, it becomes a combining of individuals where a new relationship and family is created. It becomes a blending not only of individuals, but a blending of ways of thought and ways of being within the world. Within your family, your combined love will make the burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger so that you can be involved in life in ways you dare not risk alone. As a single grain of sand is a unique element onto itself, each of you is so very special in your own right, the decision that you are making is to combine your uniqueness and to become a family. I would now like to invite Liz Whitney to now please come forward to present a song to Richard and Amy. And as she sings, each of you will blend your jar of sand with the other. And at this point, be reminded of the loving agreement that you are making to each other as you become part of this greater commitment.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, together with Richard and Amy, we give thanks for this special moment in time and for the loving support of family and friends. Two separate paths are now united into one. We celebrate with them the hopes that they have for their new life together. Grant on to them the patience to listen, the desire to give both unending compassion and understanding to each other. We ask your blessings upon them to sustain them through difficult and uncertain times. May they continue to grow both separately and together, and may their love for one another expand and deepen with the passing years. Father, we give thanks for your grace, loving kindness, and guidance shown to this couple who stand before you proclaiming their love and devotion. Amen. Amen. Amy and Richard, in this marriage, I ask that you might comfort each other, provide a safe place for each other away from the trials of the world. Your marriage can be a place where a sense of peace, harmony, and warmth of spirit can be generated. Gently embrace each other's spirit. Warm your partner, both physically and emotionally. Be a friend to each other. The desire for true companionship can help you weather many of life's storms. Be open with each other. When you openly reveal your innermost secrets, desires, and fears with the person that you love, suspicions and doubts cannot cloud your relationship. Listen to each other. Hear not only the words, but the tone, the mood, and the expressions so that misunderstandings do not occur. Respect each other's individuality. Everyone has a right to their own choices and mistakes. Express approval and gratitude. Compliments encourage confidence and to know that we are appreciated not only for what we do, but for who we are. Allows each person to grow into the best of what they might become. Cherish your union. Let no one come between the two of you and the life you are creating together. Love one another from the deepest corners of your heart. Always remember the warmth and devotion of your togetherness. Amy, please place your right hand into Richard's right hand, and then his left hand covering yours as a sign of his undying devotion to you and his protection. <laughs> and then your hand over his, and one potato, two potato, <laughs> and your hand over his as a symbol of the warmth and comfort you bring to him. As you start your life together, those of us gathered here wish for you a love that makes both of you better people. The kind of love that will continue to give you a joy and a passion for living and provide you with the energy and courage to face the responsibilities of your new life together. We ask this day to be a celebration not only for Richard and Amy, but for all of us. Allow us to be inspired by the example of their love and delighted by the happiness they have brought into our midst. We give thanks for this beautiful day, for this special occasion, and for the love which is the bond that binds Richard and Amy to each other and to all of us. Amy and Richard, it has been a privilege and a pleasure to share in the public celebration of your union. As you start on your new path together as husband and wife, there are many things that those of us gathered here wish for the two of you. We wish that you might find constant inspiration and rewards in your new roles, enjoying each day the sweetness of your separate and combined labors that will go into making your life together meaningful, loving, and rewarding. We hope that you might find a special sense of mission in your life together and that you may never tire of exploring the endless possibilities of your shared existence. Richard and Amy, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the good Lord ever keep you in the hollow of his hand. May your hearts be as warm as your heart stones, and may God bless you always. Richard and Amy, in this marriage, you shall 
shall contribute more fully, for you shall be more fully complete. Get those cameras ready. And now, by the authority vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Richard. Oh, yes, Richard, you may now kiss your beautiful, beautiful bride. Oh, yeah. And now, as the two of you turn towards your family and friends, it is my very great pleasure to congratulate and introduce for the very first time the new Mr. and Mrs. Richard Larrabee Jr. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. 